I will share with you about the situation that we are in the last days. So uh, it was said that uh, wars and rumors of wars. So like what happened in Malawi Sea. So uh, it is not uh, good for us that uh, it was happened. It is not good for us that it was happened here in southern Philippines in Mindanao. So now uh, the Malawi Sea it was uh, it was caused by an ISIS uh, because this ISIS the uh, international uh, terrorist uh, coming from Syria and Iraq uh, was uh, penetrating here in uh, southern Mindanao in the Philippines. So it was uh, in Marawi seeds uh, that uh, caused a disturbance of a uh, peaceful situation in that uh, city of Marawi. So, um, but uh, it was already written in the Bible that uh, we will hear wars and rumors of wars. So, uh, rumors of wars or actually wars that will happen so it was uh, told by jesus now uh, that's why we will not uh, be uh, surprised no we will not be surprised of what will happen in our uh, country or in every uh, places uh, we will not uh, surprise of that is because uh, there are situations that uh, that our peaceful uh, our peaceful place will be disturbed by worse it's because uh, it's because the the bible telling us that there will be worse there will be rumors of wars okay so now in the malawi says uh, it was uh, very clear that uh, our soldiers you know our soldiers were attacking this isis it's because this isis were were causing trouble they were causing trouble so our government forces were were uh, depending uh, our our civilians you know, and uh, our nation from that uh, terrorist so uh, uh even if what is the cause no? even if what is the cause of war or any disturbances all around the world but it was already written in the bible so it means to say it shall come to pass so what we are going to do what we are going to do since uh, it was written since it will happen since it shall come to pass so what we are going to do so jesus advised us to pray to be vigilant to be alert to be watchful so we must be vigilant because uh, the devil is roaring like a lion, according to Apostle Peter. So we must be vigilant because the devil is roaring like a lion. Uh, we must also be vigilant because deception, deception. So nowadays, uh, very uh, there are many things that deceive people. So not only in the religious aspect, but also in the situation of health, in the situation of economic crisis or whatever situation, there are many deception. Even in, in internet, so there are many deception. So that's why we must be alert we must be watchful we must be vigilant so um jesus advised us to pray to pray and be watchful be vigilant now what is prayer uh, jesus encourages us to pray so what is prayer so according to your chapter 11 jesus said our father we start in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done uh, as it is in heaven so it means to say that in this situation, when there will be worse or whatever that will happen, will be pandemic or any crisis that we will face, we must constantly pray. So as according to Apostle Paul, uh, Apostle Paul that uh, constant in prayer or pray without ceasing. So we must pray constantly. Okay? We must pray constantly. Why? It's because we don't know what will happen next. Uh, even uh, we, we have we have a peaceful place. Even if uh, we think that uh no more no more chaos uh, if you think that no more no more crisis or whatever so we don't know we don't know what will be next is because uh the, the events of the world are unpredictable so we are in the situation that the world is unpredictable like what happened in coronavirus is unpredictable what happened in marawi states is unpredictable so there are things that will happen around the world unpredictable so that's why we must pray so our father he said jesus said our father which are in heaven it means to say that we must develop we must develop our uh, intimacy with the Father. We must develop our intimacy with our God Father. So, you know, if we have, if we are intimate with our God Father, so we have nothing to worry about in any situation. Okay, if there will be worse, if, if there will be pandemic, if there will be crisis, if there will be economic collapse, whatever, we are nothing to worry. We have nothing to worry because the Bible says that, uh, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, make your request unto god to make your request unto god and the peace of god 
that passes all understanding will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. So it means to say, uh, if we have that uh, intimacy with our God the Father, if we have that uh, uh, strong relationship with our God the Father, we have nothing to worry. It's because we can pray and we are assured as we pray, we are answered by God. Our prayers are being answered by Jesus, being answered by our God the Father. So when our prayers are being answered by our God the Father, we have nothing to worry. It's because the situation is in control by God. So God will will control it. No? So he can control the situation because God is sovereign. Our God Father is sovereign. He is sovereign. So that's why uh, he can control everything. He can control the situation. Whatever will happen in this world, God is in control. Okay, So we are assured of that, that God is in control. It's because uh, he is our God Father. He is our Father. So he will take care of us. He will protect us. He will guard our hearts and mind. Uh, According to that uh, Philippians verse four verse six, uh, and the God of peace will uh, give uh, will guard our hearts and minds. So the God of peace or the peace of God passes all understanding that will guard our hearts and mind in Christ Jesus. So, uh, mean to say, we have nothing to worry about this uh, the situation that will come into this world. Whatever will happen in this world, we have nothing to worry about it. Why? It's because our God the Father will take care of us. So we must develop that intimacy or closeness or strong relationship we're out with our god the father so our father we are in heaven so it means to say that our god is in heaven so he can control everything he sees us he sees you so he can he can understand you he can understand our situation because he's in, in heaven so he is in his uh, throne so whatever will happen in this world he cannot be overthrown he cannot be uh, moved in his throne so he is everlasting he is from everlasting to everlasting. So God is in his throne. So he is in control of everything. God, our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be the name. Hallowed be the name. So it means to say that in prayer, we must always honor our God. We must honor him. We must uh, take reverence or we must adore him. We must bow down before him. Now, at every moment of our life, we must give ourselves to him uh, because he's worthy to be worshipped. He's worthy to be honored. God is worthy to be honored. So we must hallow, hallow be the name, the kingdom of God. Hallow be the name. It means to say that we are uh, surrendering ourselves to him. We are adoring him. We are bowing down before him. We are giving himself unto him. We are surrendering ourselves to him. So our God, Father, we said, hallowed be the name. So this worship. So we must worship our God. We must worship him because he is worthy to be worshipped. So worship God in spirit and in truth. So we must worship our God, the Father, in spirit and in truth. So always worship. So that is... Uh, uh, what the Bible encourages us to worship Him. So our Father is in heaven. Hallowed be the name. Thy kingdom come. So Thy kingdom come. It means to say that uh, whatever our situation, okay, whatever our situation, we must give priority of His kingdom. We must give our priority of God's kingdom. So it means to say that the kingdom of God must be our priority in living or not, because we, uh, our citizenship is in heaven. Now we are pilgrims of this world. It means to say we are passing away. So we must, uh, we are only like a journey, uh, like a pilgrims or like a, a stranger who, who passed. Uh, so we are passing this world. Meaning to say, we are not of this world. We are not uh, for this world. So we are living in this world, but we are not for this world. We are for heaven. We are bound for heaven. So why why I told I told you, or why I tell you that we are bound to heaven for those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are bound to heaven. According to Apostle Paul, your citizenship is not here, but your citizenship is in heaven. So it means our citizenship is in heaven. So like Abraham, Abraham, when God told him to go to the land of Canaan, uh, Abraham uh, from uh, uh, the land of Ur in Chaldea, so he, he journeyed with his family and uh, built a tent. So he he traveled by and then uh, making a shelter of tent. So it means to say he has no house, he has no big house. Abraham did not build a big house when he traveled from the or of Chaldees to the Canaan. So he did not uh, build a big house. But when he arrived in uh, Canaan, so that's the time that he built the big house. Okay. So his travel from uh, or of Chaldees to Canaan, uh, it is the uh, analogy that we in this world are we are passers of this world or we are pilgrims of this world we we will pass this world okay so we will not remain in this world we are temporal of this world so that's why we must prioritize that kingdom because that kingdom will last forever okay the, the, the heaven and earth will pass away but the kingdom of god will remain it will remain forever or even his word his word will remain forever 
So the word of God will remain forever. So that is uh, your kingdom comes. It means to say that we must give priority of God's kingdom. So thy kingdom come, thy will be done. So what it means by thy will be done, it means to say that we must uh, uh, obey God and do the will of God. So even if chaos, even if worse, tribulation, uh, pandemic, whatever that, we must obey God. We must do the will of God. So if we do the will of God, then God will be happy for us. He will be happy for us if we are obedient doing his will. So that you will be done. So in prayer, uh, we must not violate any God's principle or we will not violate any uh, command of God. We will not violate from God's word. It's because it says that they will be done. It's mean, it means to say that doing the will of God. So we must do the will of God. So meaning we will not, we will not violate. Okay? We will not violate. Because uh, nowadays, uh, many people praying of that kind of prayer. Our Father, which is in heaven, hallowed be the name. May kingdom come. They will be done. In heaven. So, thy will be done. So the word thy will be done means to say, we must not violate God's principles. We will not violate God's commandments. We will not violate God's uh, design for us. Okay? The design for, for God for us is like male and female. So, if you're a male, you're a male. If you're a female, you are a female. So, don't violate God. So, don't violate God's design for you. So, that is thy, thy will be done. So, mean to say, we should not violate any principles of that. We should not violate any uh, command of that, uh, any instruction of that. So we must obey it. So that is, thy will be done. So if we pray in that manner, then God will uh, have pleasure in our prayer. So uh, this uh, rumors of wars, uh, whatever will happen to us, and also we are protected and we don't worry about anything because we are in God's hands. So. If, uh, if war will be in our place, so God will protect us. Or if God will not take us, like uh, what said, Mr. Nadeo said, said that uh, it's up to God. It's up to God for us because we are not for this world. We are for God's kingdom. So that's all that I can share for all of us today. God bless.